thank you for the, this very nice introduction. So today, this talk today, I'm going to present you for the first time the first decentralized marketplace for cloud resources. So today, we are announcing the version 2 of iExec, and version 2 is really decentralized. It means that now we are building a network of machine providers, of cloud providers, and developers can now execute their application in a fully decentralized way on a distributed infrastructure. And more than that, we are releasing a new marketplace, which I think, we think, is really changing the way we do cloud computing now. Trading computing power as a commodity, you know, like the oil market. So why is it important? Today, if you are a developer and if your application runs on a centralized cloud, it works like this. You go to a specific provider, let's say Amazon Web Service. When you're on this provider, you have a whole bunch of instances. You select some of them. So an instance is like a machine, if you want, like a virtual machine. They have many different characteristics. The pricing depends on the machine, depends on the way you actually provision those machines and also depends on the region. So that's very complex and it's extremely difficult to, to, um, uh, to compare the various offers coming from different cloud providers. So we're going to change that. And the way we are changing that is that now people will go to a single marketplace where all providers are going to compete. So to do that, we had to propose several innovations. And the first innovation is what we call paper paper task. So what does it mean? Paper task, it means that you don't rent a machine on which you're going to execute your application, you pay for the execution of a task. So now you don't care if this task has been executed on this provider or this one or this one or this one. You pay for the execution of a task and this is totally new. Okay, well, it's not totally new because it's similar a little bit to the Amazon Lambda if you know that. <coughs> But what is new is this uh, marketplace and the fact that you can uh, trade computing power like a commodity. So how does it look like? So before, we're going to see a demo uh, so that you can see how it works you know, in a real case. But before that, I want to explain you the, 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 the user interface so that you, are, you, you will be able to follow this, uh, this demo. So if you're familiar with trading, Maybe you already know this kind of interface. It's very similar to trading. But this is for trading computing power. This is not for trading your, your favorite tokens. Okay? So what you see, uh, typically you see the, the, the price in RLC. So RLC is the token to buy the, you know, to buy the execution of an application. You see a work order where there are all the computing uh, resources that are ready to be executed. Uh, you see the recent trades. You can see the trade that you pass, and you have a buy sell, uh, a buy sell window where you can buy some computing power or sell some computing power. First, here what you see is the pool of cloud providers that are in the marketplace. So we are deployed on Covan, which is a testnet for Ethereum application. Here, what you see is the DApp Store. So as I said, at the moment we have about 50 applications. We're going to use Blender. And here we're going to copy the, the, the address of a Blender, and now we're going to the marketplace. So in the marketplace, you have to log in. So we have several categories that correspond to the envelope for the, for the, the execution. We have the order book. We are going to pick one of the, the, one of the, order, the work order in the order book. This is the wallet, so you can verify that you can actually buy those uh, computation. Uh, the recent trades correspond to all the trades that has been executed and also the computation that happened. And now we're going to buy some computing resources to execute the Blender application. So what you see here is some parameters that we fill for this particular application. So Blender that's going to be, uh, for instance, the, 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 the image you want to compute. Now we buy the computing order. There is here an interaction with the blockchain. These are all actual transactions happening on the Ethereum blockchain. It's really decentralized. 
and you see that it gets updated. So the, the, the order book got, um, you know, um, there is one order less in the order book. And you see recent trades. And if you click on recent trades, then you go on the iExec Explorer. So this is similar to Etherscan, if you want, but for iExec. And you can see the result of the computation. And if you click on it, you will see the result that happened, which is actually the image that has been just rendered. Imagine that you can have as many cloud providers as you want, and they are all going to compete to have the best price at a given time. And this is really new, it did not exist before. Public worker pools, it's organized like miners. Uh, if you, you know mining. So usually when you're a miner, you're not a sole miner. Usually you join a, a mining pool uh, to make sure that you have a chance to get a reward for your contribution. So here it's the same, same way. You join a worker pools to make sure that you, you, you would get some uh, some, uh, some work to do. And it's up to the worker pool you know, to, to, to attract the computation uh, and to be good at giving you some computation to do. And then what we have what we call private worker pools. So these are well identified cloud providers. So if you want more in B2B fashion. At the moment, we have four companies joining the worker pool. These are IT company, I mean, work, working, these are, sorry, these are startups working the green IT field. So they have new disruptive technology to create green data centers. It's very interesting. I really encourage you to, to dig at those uh, uh, Carnot, Nerdalyze, uh, Steam Urgent, Cloud and Heat. I love what they're doing. It's really amazing. And we're also going to have more traditional cloud provider. And today I'm really happy to announce that we have a partnership with uh, TF Cloud, which is one of the main Chinese cloud providers, something really big. Today, we are also releasing the first version of the proof of contribution protocol. So it's something really important because this is the actual technology that enables decentralization. Uh, so what is proof of contribution? What is this protocol? What is this algorithm? The issue is you are provisioning a machine on the internet. And maybe you don't trust the machine that has been provisioned. So the question is, how can I guarantee as a developer that the machine did right did what I asked for and what I paid for. So we do result certification by majority voting, so that's a traditional way of doing that. Plus we do staking, which means that each actor has to stake some RSC before doing the computation. And uh, we're also using uh, reputation. So the algorithm is all open source, it's already deployed on, uh, on Ethereum. Well, I say it once again because I love that. We allow to trade computing power as a community, like the whole market. That, that's, for me, it's totally amazing. Uh, the agenda that is coming is quite exciting too. Uh, we will, so this is now available on testnet, on the Covan testnet. So you can play with the marketplace. You can do that right now. GitHub is open as well. Uh, we are going to move that on mainnet as soon as we feel confident to do so. So far, so good, but we really want to make sure that, you know, that there's no friction about that. So it should happen, hopefully, in the coming weeks. As soon as, uh, as it's on mainnet, we're going to do what we call the worker drop. So worker drop is like an airdrop, but for workers. Uh, so we are going to create a worker pool for like 48 hours, something like that. We're going to launch some tasks and anyone who connect as a worker to the worker pool, to, the, to this public worker pool, is going to, 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 to have some, uh, some uh, free RSC. The public worker pools are scheduled probably for September, October, but we have no timeline right now. There are some additional stuff to do. Um, not with the POCO, I think POCO is ready, but most probably in the way people can interact with. And first, we want to make sure that people actually have work to execute, unless that is going to be a, not a, not a, it's not going to be a success. We are at the moment working with uh, Intel on a new uh, technology. I mean, they, are, they have produced a technology which is uh, called uh, Intel HX, which is Enclave, something really promising. And we have first uh, proof of concept. Uh, we expect that by the end of this, yeah, maybe it's October, we are going to have the first inclusion of this technology, the first product that uses this technology uh, in, um, in uh, iExec. It's really important because it allows for privacy preserving. So you can do a computation on a remote machine that you don't trust and your data are going to be kept encrypted 
even though you, you don't trust this machine. It, it just didn't exist before. That's really something uh, exciting. Uh, okay, we'll be at uh, DEF CON, of course, uh, in Prague, and I encourage you to, to be there also. Uh, we are certainly going to run a, a workshop. And so a full day for developers, for uh, uh, iExec lovers. And in one year from now, we're going to release V3. V3 has some very advanced features, uh, some that are very new, like uh, data set monetization. So data set monetization is imagine your, your data, your personal data, like the one you have with Facebook, you know, those data are yours and each time a company want to use it to sell those, you know, the, the analytics of this data, you're going to get some rewards. And we're going also, we are part of the Ethereum Enterprise Alliance and we are going to cooperate more and more with them to make sure that the solution we propose can actually be used by traditional businesses. Okay, thank you very much. And